Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please hit the subscribe button if you're interested in following along and seeing what I'm doing over here. And thank you very much for your support. So in today's video, I'm doing a collaboration challenge with Heidi Sonbol. We had to make something dedicated to the springtime that incorporated the use of flowers. I'm not fully ready to decorate for spring just yet, but I did create this piece that I'm gonna share to go along with my spring theme. I wanted to use the colors teal and rose gold. I tried to achieve the rose gold look. The spray paint is more of a copper, but I added a little pink paint to make the rose gold effect. So um, teal is my favorite color, and my plan for the spring this year was to decorate with mainly teal. So the project you're gonna see is a teal flower-based project, and it's not complete. This is just one piece of it. I'll be doing another video um, probably the first week of March to show how I put everything together. Thanks, Heidi, for coming up with this challenge, and please feel free to take a look at her channel. The link is below, as well as the playlist so you can see the videos of some of the other people who participated. I picked up these flowers half price from Hobby Lobby, which I'm using for my spring decor. I pulled all the petals off, and then I had a spool of thread. It's actually very clear plastic thread. And using a needle, I threaded some of the petals. What I'm creating here will be featured in a spring decor video, and so I'm just showing how I got everything started. The five bushels of flowers each was about three dollars so fifteen dollars for the flowers I use most of them for the threading that I'm doing now and the rest will be used for the plaque that I'm making next I already had this leftover plywood from a previous project so I spray painted it with this paint. It's a copper color. I was going for rose gold, but I ended up spraying it, then wiping some pink paint over it, and then doing a light dusting of the spray paint again to try to give it the rose gold look because I couldn't find any rose gold paint. The spray paint was $3, also from Hobby Lobby. These letters came from Michaels, and they were half price at $4 with a coupon. Um, this turquoise paint that I'm using to paint over the black was 50 cents also from Hobby Lobby. So to stick with the same color scheme, I did not want black letters, so I'm painting them turquoise. These obviously were self-adhesive letters, so once those were on, I went ahead and glued on some of the flowers. These larger petal flowers came from the dollar store, so I did spend another dollar on those. And I didn't even use all the flowers from Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree on this plaque, but I'll round up and call it $4 for the flowers. Then I got these little studs from the dollar store. Um, so part of the challenge was that we had to say how much we spent on the project. So for this plaque alone, I'm estimating $12.50 to create this. $1 for the dollar store flowers, $3 for the bushel from Hobby Lobby, $4 for the letters, $3 for the spray paint, and $0.50 cents for the turquoise paint. Oh, and $1 for the turquoise studs. And this is the final result. When it's all complete, this plaque will go along with the hanging flowers that I was making earlier, and they will combine to make one piece of spring decor. If you stick around, you will see that video later. So that was my springtime plaque with the flowers, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.